All right. Now, next thing we need to do that we're happy with the logo is to separate it. Now, there's about a hundred different ways to do stuff in industry, and we're going to show you a couple ways to do some manual separations. Now, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I got to unlock all the layers, which I want to bring over to a separate document where I'm going to do my separations. So I've done that here. I'm leaving the logo locked because we don't want that. Now I'm going to go ahead and select, make sure I have everything that I want. I'm going to copy that. And I've already set up my artboard in a different document in which I want to do this in. Now I'm going to go ahead and paste it. Now the first thing I'm going to do is drag this off to the side because I'm not ready for that yet. Second thing I'm going to do is make a new layer, and this is going to be my background. Now, what I'm going to do with this layer is go over here to my shapes, hold that down, I want to select a rectangle. I'm going to start that rectangle, and I want to circumference my entire artwork board. Then I'm going to color that a light gray. When I'm done with that, I'm not going to be using that layer anymore. I'm going to go ahead and lock that. I'm going to drag it to the bottom because I'm not going to, I want that to be behind everything else. Okay. Now, I want to go ahead and start getting this ready to be separated. So I'm going to drag this over here to my very top, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in on that. There we go. Now, when I talked to my customer, they said they wanted this to be about 14 inches wide. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go over to my width and my height, make sure that they're locked so it adjusts both ways at the same time. I'm just going to go ahead and select this and stick 14 in there, hit enter, and it's at the size it needs to be. Now, why everything's selected, I'm still going to look at that, make sure there, it looks pretty centered to me. Now I need to go ahead and bring my rulers back up, and we're going to drag a guideline all the way over here again. next thing I'm going to do is zoom in to the very top here where the center of the art is and my guide is. I want to make sure very closely that my artwork is centered. Now that I've done that I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now I have a crop mark that I have floating here that I put in here before we started. Now I'm going to take him, I'm going to stick him over here. And we're going to zoom in on him. All right. That looks a little too fat to me, and it's a stroke, so we're just going to take the stroke down on that. Now, one point should work just fine. I think the size is good. I'm going to drag him over my guideline, just really close to the edge. Then so I'm going to zoom in really close and then dial it in. Now I'm going to drag him right on top of the line when those lines meet. Perfect. Now I can go ahead and back out of this. I'll select him, copy him, come to the bottom of the artwork, paste him again. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did at the top. Now we gotta look and make sure we're not leaving too much room here because film is very expensive. So let's bring this up just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good to me up there up top. Okay. Now what I can do to keep organized in my shop, I'm just gonna go ahead and label this artwork. Just going to stick that right next to our top for Reggie Mark. All right, that all looks good to me. So now that we have one layer with all the artwork and Reggie Marks on it, what I'm going to do next is go to that layer. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to go ahead and name that one blue. Then I'm going to go ahead and open another layer, and I'm going to repeat this process for every single color we're going to print. This one's going to be black. 
and we have a three color going on, so we've got to do it one more time. This is going to be light blue. Perfect. Now the next thing I'm going to go do is go back to the original blue that has everything on it. I'm going to select the entire piece, including the crop marks. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go underneath of it, and then I'm going to select the next layer here, and then I'm going to paste it right below that one. Perfect. And then we're going to scroll down, and we're going to select the light blue here, and we're going to do the exact same thing, and paste it right underneath this. There. Now I have a composite for every color I'm planning on printing. So now that we've done this, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to take my blue first. I'm going to lock every layer except for the one layer I'm working on. Now we're going to go ahead and zoom in on the top layer, which is going to be blue. And what I'm going to do is we are not printing the background. So I'm going to turn that white. We are not printing the black, so we're going to turn that also white. Now we are going to print the blue on this one. So we're just going to select the blues, and we're going to turn those black. Perfect. Now it kind of starts to make sense when I turn my background off. That's what a film positive looks like. So we're going to turn that back on. Now while we're done with this, I'm going to lock my blue, unlock the black, scroll down to this, repeat the exact same process, but leaving the next color I want as a black. Oop. My fault messed up there. Now this is the last one. We want to do this one as a half tone, so we're going to set it up that way. First thing I need to do is turn all that white. Now what I'm going to do is turn this background black. And then I want to actually put it at about a 15% transparency, because I want it to be really light when it's turning to half tones. Now we have three plates, and we're separated and ready to output.